What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Young J. And you see me back with another video, man. But today, I'm going to be showing y'all boys five hidden features on any Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well, actually, my bad, my bad. I think it's like 2014 and up, bro. I think it's 2014 and up, if I'm not mistaken. But y'all, if y'all new, man, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let's get into the hidden features, my boy. So starting off with number one, bro. I'm about to show y'all. I know, I know I did a lot of mods to this bit, bro. A lot of people don't know this, son. I'm about to show y'all real quick just because I rock with y'all. But you already know I got the little starlight set up. But this is the, the driver's side back seat, right, bro? You see where I'm at? Let me hit the flash real quick. Now, I know the carpet a little dirty, bro. But as you can see, I'm going to follow it. I'm going to go into the driver's seat. When you go into here, bro, you see this little compartment right here? Let me try to lift it up. That's uh, my bad, bro. I had to redo it because I had to move the seat up a little bit. But as y'all can see, bro, if you look down here, bro, they got a hidden compartment under the driver's seat. It's a hidden compartment under here. And they actually have a lot of space, bro. I don't know if y'all can see, but I could put, I can't put my hand all the way in there because the seat all the way in the way. But let me show y'all, boys. If y'all know about Jeeps, bro, y'all know about Jeeps, you already know. You already know what time it is back here, too. Quiet place. I got another back here, but... Let me just finish showing y'all this first one real quick. If you know about Jeeps, bro, on the uh, passenger side, they got the same little compartment, but on the passenger side, they got the battery. As you can see, the battery. So just imagine, if they could fit a battery on this side, bro, imagine what you would fit on that side. You feel me? Because they don't got nothing over there. So it's like, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people really don't know about that mod. So I said, mod, my bad, bro, I don't know why. I got so many mods that I'm about to do to this thing, bro. So that's just really was all on my mind, bro. I got splitters coming in. I got side fenders. I got a lot coming, bro. But let me get on to the next. Uh, I'm about to show y'all boys the next feature, hidden feature real quick. And this is in the inside the car. So look, I'm about to show y'all. My bad, I know I had the, uh, the camera all the way up. As you can see, bro, just hold your the driver's side. Hold the top and the bottom to adjust the AC. These two arrows, hold both of them and click the uh, the front defrost. So hold all three of them at the same time, bro. So look, I'm holding all three. Holding all three. You gotta hold it for five seconds. And as you can see, it's a dealer mode. Let me cut the AC off. But it's I'm um, in dealer mode right now. I can actually go through whatever I want to. So system information, radio information. Y'all pot y'all might have more features because this is an aftermarket radio. So y'all may have more features than what I have. But it's basically like it's a secret menu. You just gotta make sure you click the top and bottom arrow, hold both of them, and hold the front defrost at the same time, bro. So just hold them all down for five seconds. Three buttons. Hold the three buttons for five seconds, bro. I'm gonna get on to the next mod. This is uh, this is just dealer mode for you. You go through data. It's, it's all types of stuff. You just gotta play around with it, bro. But let me show y'all the next. It's gonna be back here by the trunk. So as, I don't know if y'all can see, but they got like a button. So look, you gotta literally look under here, bro. Under your, uh, I'm gonna open it so y'all can kind of see. But look, it's hard to see. Y'all see that button right there, bro? It's a little circle button. I know y'all can see it, but if I click that button, it's under the truck part too. If I click it, you heard the truck lock? I can lock the truck from this button, bro. So that button, it really does come in handy. If y'all don't know about this button, bro, I suggest y'all really do some research on y'all car, bro, because y'all got a lot more features than y'all think that y'all really don't know about, bro. So that's just another one right there. And let me show y'all, if you can't see, bro, I'm gonna get under here for real, for real. They got a button and then they got the actual handle. See, I can open it with the handle, but the button right here, if I click that circle, it's gonna lock the truck. Bro. So I'm just trying to show y'all, boys. So y'all know for but nah, bro. I'm about to show y'all the last, uh, well, nah, this is not the second. This is the second to last. Second to last, uh, hidden feature on any Jeep Grand Cherokee 2014 and up, bro, is the how to change your cluster. So, a lot of people don't notice. Some people do, some people might not, bro. 
it's kind of easy though it's not really like no hidden feature but some people really just don't know how to change these stuff bro so like look if i put on the, uh the kmh from this little symbol right there as you can see i can change the miles per hour whichever one i want to bro like you can play around with it you can have 300 on your dash you can do whatever you want for real for real bro i ain't gonna lie to you but i hope y'all boys i hope y'all boys stay in tune bro because this last one it's not really nothing too crazy, but it's something just in case if you ever say you was to get locked out. Like, I know y'all seen the button in the trunk. So right now, if I click the button in the trunk right now, it's locked. It's locked, right? So if my truck locked, and say my key, say my key battery dead, bro. If my key battery died, bro, right here, if it dies, all I could do, bro, I'm about to show y'all. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can really see, bro. But on the back of the key fob, let me turn the flash on. Turn the flash on. Okay, so on the back of the key fob, they got this little, little button in there. Like you can slide it. Just slide it this way, bro. When you slide it this way, this key. Let me, let me take it off real quick. So when you, when you slide this little button, bro, it's going to release the key. The key right here, bro. The key inside the uh. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the key, bro. So I'm locked out. Take the key. Boom. Twist it. As you can see, it's going to lock for me, bro. I think I, I think I locked it. So maybe this unlock. One of them unlocked. You see? There you go. But they're going to lock it for you without the key file, bro. So if your key battery ever go dead on you, bro, just know that you can use the key that's inside the key fob, bro. As long as your key cut, bro. So make sure your key cut inside your key fob, bro. Because that could save you a lot of money in the long run. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. That was like the, uh... I don't know if y'all boys kept counting that. I don't know if y'all kept counting that, bro. But that was five miles right there, bro. I went over the, the two compartment spots. I count them as two because it's like one of them one of them really a hidden feature and the other one is like a battery spot but i know some people got other like they got other different features right there or whatnot because i know i think like with a uh some some somebody said they got like a transfer case uh the suspension some jeeps be having like a certain a certain suspension and stuff you can set up on them and i think that's what might be in some people uh under this under the driver's side seat of some people jeeps i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure so just check your truck bro and let me know if you got one down there because i really don't know for sure for sure but i know mine's i got an empty space so i could put whatever i want down there bro but main thing that was one number two was the uh the trunk i showed y'all boys the trunk button a lot of people really don't know about that i didn't even know about that i ain't gonna lie to y'all but that's number two number three Number three was the uh, the features on the dash, how to change the miles per hour, the KMH, how to change all that, bro. Number four was on the, uh, I know I'm kind of skipping all order or whatnot, but number four was uh, on the, the radio. How to, how to pull up the dealer mode. That's the fourth one. And the last one was the, uh, the key fob, bro. So make sure y'all boys' keys is cut, bro, because if it's not cut, I ain't going to lie, that good. That can have you paying a lot more in the long run, bro. So just double check. Make sure uh, all y'all keys cut or whatnot. Because you don't want to have your key fob battery dead. And you can't get back in your truck, bro. But nah, YouTube, man. That was all five hidden features on any Jeep Grand Cherokee, bro. So if y'all boys just do y'all research, man. Y'all to find out and see all these hidden features are actually legit, bro. None of them fake. You feel me? Let me close the door. I'm gonna just get a little B-roll before I get out of here. Get a little bit of B-roll before I leave. But man, I just wanna thank y'all, bro. We almost at 700 subscribers. And really, after this video, we probably gonna be past 700 subscribers. So man, I just gonna say thank y'all to each and every one of y'all, bro. Let's keep growing, let's keep learning, bro. That's all life really about, evolution, bro. So y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next video, man. We got a lot of bangers coming. Hey. I'm telling you, I'ma just show y'all, bro. Y'all know I be liking to show y'all, bro. I don't be liking to talk too much. I'ma just show y'all, bro. But I love y'all boys, man. I'ma catch up with y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy Young J. Yo.